अंदर के स्वागत है मुख्य गौरव गौरवनी मुख्यमंत्री श्री चंद्रबाबुना गार गौरवनी सिविल एविशन मिनीस्टर श्री राोहन नायु गार गौरवनी उप मुख्यमंत्री श्री पवन कल्याण गार मू रेल मंत्री श्री अश्विनी वैष्णव गारी स्वागत स्वागत माधव बीसी पार्लम सभ्यु श्री उदय श्रीनिवास एंपी गार वाली आह्वान कृष्णदेवराज सार मेबर गुंटूर वाली आह्वास्ट कार्यक्रम प्रारंभ मुख्य प्रारंभ गौरव उप मुख्यमंत्री श्री पवन कल्याण गाराख्यों मत पंचाल पवन कल्याण गार मैकेंगे सर स्म कर सर चीफ मिनीस्टर श्री चंद्रबाबुना सर आनरबल डिप्टी चीफ मिनीस्टर श्री पवन कल्याण जी आनरबल सिविल एविशन मिनीस्टर श्री राम मोहन नायु जी ऑनरेबल एमपी राजमंडरी श्रीमती पुरंदेश्वरी जी ऑनरेबल एमपी काकीनाडा श्री श्रीनिवास जी ऑनरेबल एमपी विजयवाड़ा श्री शिवनाथ जी ऑनरेबल एमपी नरसराव पेट श्री देवरायलू जी एंड ऑल दी फ्रेंड्स प्रेजेंट हियर आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दी कैबिनेट ब्रीफिंग टुडे द यूनियन कैबिनेट इन दी अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी took a very big decision related to the connectivity railway connectivity to amravati uh, amravati as we all know is a dream project which was uh, conceived by honorable chief minister shri chandrababu naidu ji his vision is reflected in the way the city is planned so we are committed to providing railway connectivity to Amra- amravati and uh, we had looked at various options we had looked at all the constraints and basis all the factors involved in designing and planning for the railway line we have selected uh, an alignment which is going to be a long term beneficial alignment for uh, amravati city and andhra pradesh and today we'll be presenting that uh, new project then i clicker the project basically if you look at the map of the um, area the amravati city is currently shown in the green shaded part that is the area which is earmarked for development of amravati city the reference point is the krishna river so railway connectivity will start from the line which connects vijayawada and kajipet at a place called erupalam it will come down cross the river by a bridge which is 3.2 km long bridge connect the city amravati then come to a uh, station called namburu now this is about 57 km and this connectivity will give direct connectivity of amravati with uh, bangalore hyderabad chennai kolkata and nagpur and via nagpur connecting to delhi and via hyderabad connecting to mumbai so in a way with this project the city of amravati the new capital will get connected to all the major cities of india this is a large project the project is going to have investment of 2245 crore 2245 crore there is a 3.2 km long bridge on river krishna uh, the project will generate 19 lakh human days employment and uh, if we look at the environmental impact of this project 
सिक्स करोड़ किलोग्राम ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड विल बी सेव्ड दिस मच एमिशन विल बी सेव्ड इफ वी लुक एट हाउ मच इक्वलेंट ट्रीज आर देयर इक्वलेंट टू सिक्स करोड़ किलोग्राम ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड देन इट इज इक्वलेंट टू प्लांटिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक ट्रीज दिस मच सीओ टू सेव्ड इज इक्वलेंट टू प्लांटिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक ट्रीज दिस रेलवे लाइन विल ऑल्सो मेक श्योर दैट अमरावती इज कनेक्टेड टू मछली पटनम पोर्ट टू कृष्णा पटनम पोर्ट वाइजैक पोर्ट काकीनाडा पोर्ट गंगावरम पोर्ट एंड टू the other ports in the on the east coast um, many historical and religious places like amar lingeshwara swami temple amravati the uh, buddha statue all these will also get connected so in a sense this is a dream project for all of us and i thank the state government and honorable chief minister and honorable deputy chief minister for giving your full cooperation in realizing this project and i thank honorable prime minister for approving this project in the union cabinet meeting today um couple of more data related to this this is the bridge which will be constructed the picture is the uh, on the river krishna this is a very long bridge and by con by constructing this bridge we will be able to create a parallel path to the existing havra havra chennai Howrah Chennai line, and also to, um, in a sense, this will again, this will create a redundant path. This will create one more parallel path to the existing path. So here I will uh, stop, and I will request Honorable Chief Minister Sir first. Honorable Chief Minister Sir, for uh, addressing the press. Yes. thank you honorable cm sir yes sir yes sir this honorable railway minister sri ashwini vishnu garu deputy chief minister pawan kalyan garu honorable party president varundeshri garu <coughs> we are thanking honorable prime minister for sanctioning <laughs> railway line to amravati as on today vijayawada guntur is covered it is going on the other side of the city now with this connectivity amravati is connected to all other cities in the country all capitals either chennai or hyderabad or bangalore or kolkata and various cities or various capitals it is going to connect and also it is 57 kilometers distance it is nearly 2245 crores they are going to complete within 4 years time even on across krishna river it is looking very beautiful honorable railway minister sri ashwini vaishnav garu i am requesting you make it a iconic bridge railway bridge it will go a long way because in amaravati we are working one of the best city in the country itself it is a new capital and also city is developing shaping very well and also central government has supported for finance and so many ways i re really appreciate central government and thanking central government particularly especially narendra modi ji very short time you are able to take to the cabinet cabinet also sanction immediately with this one project co2 emissions nearly 6 crore kgs that is nearly 25 lakh trees if you plant it will generate oxygen that is the work you have done and also in andhra pradesh 
So many projects are going on. Recently I had a review also. Nearly 70,000 crores worth of projects are going on, ongoing projects. And also Visakapatnam railway zone long pending issue. We are able to, you are able to sort it out. I am requesting you use your good offices. I am all, we are also inviting Honorable Prime Minister to come and uh, lay the foundation. If preferable in next month, either November or December is more suitable. Even other railway stations, all these things, wherever there is works are going on, we wanted to tell to the people how central government is doing all these uh, works also. Even recently I have sent one some more ROBs for your uh, consideration. If you do all these things, then it will go a big way. Except state government funding for uh, matching grant for some of the projects that will work it out, I will talk to you. Really, I am thanking you. And also I am thanking Honorable Prime Minister for sanctioning this project. With this, um, all officers are here. Can you make it to, can you complete within three years time? So that it will be helpful for us. That is what I am requesting, even Honorable Minister. You are uh, very dynamic and also within one week, ten days, you are able to take to the cabinet, central cabinet, Last week when I met you in Delhi, we, had, we discussed. Within 10 days, you are able to get it done. Same speed. If you can complete within maximum three years time, land equation and everything will cooperate. If you can complete, it will go a long way. All works we are planning, especially connectivity, three years time. If you can synchronize with three years time, then it will go a long way. With this, again and again, I'm thanking central government, particularly Honorable Prime Minister, and uh, particularly you, Sri Ashwini Vaishnavji. Thank you, thank you, Ananda. Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, sir, thank you so much, sir. We will now request Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, sir, to address us. <coughs> thank you, sir. Excellent Vaishnavji, Honorable Union Minister for Availis. Honorable uh, Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Vaishnavji, Dr. Vaishnavji, Dr. Vaishnavji, Honorable Union Minister of Civil Aviation, Mr. Matthi, the Gupati Pradhanirishra Ji, your Parliament, and also State BJP President, and the uh, MPs, Mr. Uh, Vidaya Srinivas and Sri Krishna Dev Rayanta, to all the dignitaries who are part of the group, my wholehearted namaskars. Well, thank you for giving me this opportunity. It's a big boost for the uh, state of Andhra Pradesh. And it is a long pending dream. And this is going to be a very, uh, it will play a very pivotal role in the Amravati development, and it was just to remind you all, I think Honorable uh, Prime Minister in, uh, has laid the foundation stone for Amravati. So we took a beating of five years, half a decade, and we lost a valuable time of uh, half a decade. And I could see Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi Ji's initiative and want to stand by the people of Andhra Pradesh for granting this uh, railway line, which is very essential. Uh, it's, a, it's quite amazing. But within a span of four years, uh, trying to complete the project, which is of uh, 57 kilometers, and with the bridge around uh, Tisna Nadi for uh, 3.2 kilometers, connecting major cities of India, more or less entire uh, key, key cities of uh, our, our country. And this would be a great, uh, it, it, it uh, instills a great confidence and gives us a great boost to our economy. And amazingly, creating that uh, nine, 19 lakh mandates is um, uh, 
quite significant and uh, that really which is a uh, very dear, I mean, which is very close, close to my heart was uh, looking at thinking of uh, considering carbon emissions like a uh, six hour page of uh, carbon emissions was uh, taken into consideration which is equivalent to 25 lakh trees plantation and that is really really like in you know, how the progress of bharat under the leader under the eminent leadership of uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji is uh, planning things, everything to make it uh, a carbon-free, to contribute a greater to the carbon-free world. And that is uh, really my, my wholehearted appreciation, taking this into consideration. And it is this particular railway line, which is uh, an added bonus to uh, Amaravati, and direct rail connectivity to Amaravati with uh, Hyderabad city, and improved connectivity to central and northern India with the uh, southern uh, side of our nation, and creating additional road bypassing a uh, congested uh, Vijayawada area, and accessibility to religious places such as uh, Amar Lingeswara Swami Temple, Bharavati Stupa, and uh, Jhanapur Stupa, and Gundavalli Caves really boost our uh, tourism. And uh, not just about that, enhancing connectivity to major ports like Machli Patnam, Krishna Patnam, and uh, Kakinar, and the uh, rest of the ports on the eastern side. And with uh, an opening uh, budget of 2,245 2, crores have uh, been uh, invested in this. And we are truly grateful uh, to Honorable uh, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, and especially Honorable uh, Railway Minister Sri Ashwini Vaishnavji, your uh, uh, amazing and uh, long administrative experience is going to really help us a lot in uh, delivering this project. As Honorable uh, Chief Minister uh, Sri Narendra, Mr. Charvam Nadigar said, maybe the timeline from four years, I think he requested for uh, three years. Uh, I don't know about the nitty gritties of it, but definitely I think if you could uh, consider uh, to make it before 29, I think that would be uh, a really a big boost to us to showcase the achievement and you know the understand the nitty gritties of it but still we'd like to maybe it, it could be our, our uh, desire and our aspiration to see it before 29 and we thank you for that and we are grateful to honorable uh, prime minister sri narendra modi ji and we, we, we are grateful to the cabinet for uh, taking it forward and i thank you a lot sir Jai. Thank you. <clears throat> Do we have uh, our civil aviation minister joining us already? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Please. Uh, Honorable Minister for Railway, Shashni Vaishnavji. Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, uh, Nara Chandravam Naidugaruji. Honorable Deputy Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Pavan Kalyanji. Honorable uh, President uh -huh. BJP Andhra Pradesh, Purandeshwari ji, MPs from Andhra Pradesh, Srinivas ji, Lao Krishna Dev Railu ji. Mm -hmm. It's a very historic moment for the state of Andhra Pradesh, especially what has been a dream for the last 10 decades. The people of Andhra Pradesh has been waiting for their own capital to be built up. And this, the whole capital has uh, been put on hold for the last five years because of some bad decisions by the erstwhile government. But the people had confidence on the NDA government, which has led to record victory in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Especially, they had confidence on three people. One, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, one, Chandrababu Naidu Garu, and Deputy Chief Minister Pawan Kalyan Garu. With that confidence, they have elected the new government in both the state and center. And I'm very happy to see the kind of commitment Narendra Modi ji is showing towards the state of Andhra Pradesh. In fact, in the budget itself for Andhra Pradesh, they have catered 15,000 crores, which was never seen in the history of the country. And after that, there has been thorough follow-up. And now, more 2,245 crores for the rail connectivity. For any city to grow, connectivity is the key. Let it be rail, let it be road, let it be air connectivity. And for if you're constructing a capital city, rail connectivity becomes very, very crucial. Keeping the future of the city in mind, catering 53 kilometers, 2,245 kilometers, uh, crores of uh, 
this project i think it is going to help the city grow many folds and also it help decongest the decongest the existing vijayawada station also so it is going to be very very helpful to boost the overall travel uh, uh, sector in the state of andhra pradesh and i would personally want to appreciate the sincere efforts put by my uh, senior minister uh, ashwini vaishnav ji also who has a special uh, put up a special drive to take forward all the initiatives in the state of andhra pradesh i was there in the meeting when our chief minister has requested him that andhra pradesh is a special project for 5 crore people of andhra pradesh and you have to support in it and we have seen a record time now within 10 days he has brought it in the cabinet and he has given a assurance to all the telugu people today that the nda government in the center is going to stand by you is going to build up this new capital world class capital and that has been the promise since the beginning itself yeah. on dashara 2 2017 <coughs> honorable prime minister uh, along with the chief minister then chandrababu naidu ji has laid the foundation for amravati then and since then the people have been waiting that when will this dream become a reality but with the speed at which nda government in the center is doing and assisting things for the state of andhra pradesh i am sure that this dream is very much going to be a reality and my sincere thanks on behalf of all the people of andhra pradesh to our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji who is taking special consideration on the projects of andhra pradesh which is very much required for the kind of crisis it has been going through over the last 5 years so on behalf of uh, the state of andhra pradesh once again my sincere thanks and i think uh, the honorable chief minister and deputy chief minister they have given us one more direction that it has to be completed in record time also and being a, a minister in the cabinet i would uh, uh, with, with the guidance from the state i would uh, i would uh, also ensure along with uh, our senior minister ashwini vaishnav ji so that it gets completed on time and once again my sincere thanks to uh, ashwini vaishnav ji thank you thank you brother and now i request our honorable mp from rajmundry This is D. Purandeshwari ji. Uh, will you please also address the press? Ji, uh, respected Ashwini Vaishnav ji, uh, Railway Minister, Union Council of uh, Ministers, Sri Chandrababu Naidu garu, CM of Andhra Pradesh, Pavan Kalyan garu, Deputy CM, uh, Ramohan Naidu garu, Civil Aviation Minister, Union Government, and of course my colleagues in Parliament, Lav Krishna Dev Rai Lu ji, and. Uh, um, others and also the officials from the railway ministry um, i think this is a momentous moment for me to be actually being partaking in this uh, virtual conference wherein we are um, about to launch the uh, the initiation of the railway line um, uh, from amravati and like uh, it has been emphasized by everyone before me who had shared their views i think this is uh, really a great moment for the state of andhra pradesh and having said that it also speaks of the commitment of the union uh, government uh, led by bharatiya janata party <coughs> from various aspects first it speaks of its commitment to amravati uh, declared the capital of andhra pradesh bharatiya janata party has stood by its word and ha- had remained committed to uh, amravati as the one and only capital of andhra pradesh and having said that this is just to remind my colleagues from the press that uh, even before the dpr was submitted to the central government uh, or was awaiting to be submitted the central government had already given about 2500 crores for the development of the capital area and uh, this only again today the initiation of this railway line again emphasizes the commitment of the central government to amravati as the one capital of andhra pradesh and having said that it also speaks of the commitment of the central government the union government Uh, which has been uh, repetitively emphasized by our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji about our commitment to the environment as well today the railway line as has been uh, shown and has been understood by all of us it is almost uh, to a tune of planting uh, about 25 lakh uh, trees which is i think very very en- en- uh, important to the environment today keeping in mind the changes that we are seeing 
and again it also speaks of the commitment of the union ministry towards the state of andhra pradesh uh, right from uh, committing 15000 crore rupees to the construction of amravati to today wherein we are initiating the railway project um, the railway line to a tune of about of about uh, 2250 crores uh, and also polavaram wherein we have uh, uh, the central government has committed about 12500 crores it speaks of the commitment of uh the central government is supporting the uh state of andhra pradesh which is at a very very nascent stage of growth and uh, no, beyond that it also speaks of uh, the economic growth of the state of andhra pradesh wherein andhra pradesh is now going to be connected to all the important uh, cities in india which is very very important when we look at it from the economic point of view wherein andhra would be connected to all the important cities uh, in north india as well which will facilitate not only the movement of the people but also economic activity therefore this one project is very important to the state of uh, andhra pradesh and uh, speaks uh, as i had mentioned earlier it emphasizes and reiterates the commitment of the central government to the state of andhra pradesh and this is exactly what we meant when we said and we spoke and we emphasized about the double engine sarkar wherein we would have an nda government in the center and an nda government at the state which would work in tandem with each other to ensure that the state of andhra pradesh grows uh, very well and therefore ashwini ji i would like to thank you and more particularly the prime minister of the country shri narendra modi ji for supporting the state and pradesh also for initiating this railway line and i would just like to on a lighter uh, note and on a selfish note just remind you of the rajmandri up station upgradation as well i know this is a little selfish but please do thank you ashwini ji uh dhanyawad andi everybody and uh, i just like to place two three more uh, facts before before this uh, uh, august uh, gathering here one in the interest of uh, environment when we designed this 